hello everyone welcome to another stage in learn digital skills so today we are going to be talking about data entry in excel so now by the end of today's class we should be able to know how we can actually work with our data entry and also the formatting for our data entry all right so let's get started all right so now i'm just going to get out some data and we can now see how we can work with them that is the data entry here in excel so i'll be right back all right so we are now having this data in excel here so now we are going to see how we can now work with the data entry so it has a step we need to follow now first what we have to do now is to convert this our worksheet to a table so now how do we do that just click anywhere in the cell here then you come here format as table you click on this then you can select any type so i'm just going to be using this one then you click ok good now this is it it has formatted this to a table so now what we need to do now is to begin our data entry so where do we go to get our data entry so all right so what we are going to do now is to uh, we are going to see how we can work with the data entry using the form so all you have to do after this now is to come right up here this is the quick access we discussed this in the introduction to excel which is where we can actually access our tools we seldomly use easily so you just come here now you want to customize the tool you come here you come right down here to more commands because we need the form tool so click on the more commands then you come here where you see these popular commands because the tool is not actually a popular command so you click on it and you see commands not in the ribbon so you click on it then you come down scroll scroll down we are looking for form so when you see form you just let me know okay we are going down 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 good we've seen the form so you just click on the form and you click on add good now if you watch all these here are tools that you can find up here the quick access so whichever it's why i click and i click on this ad is going to add it here so if i want to remove it you just click on it and click on the remove right here and you can remove it so i just added the form then after that i just click on ok all right so now this is it here this is the form right here all right so do you remember what we did here that is creating or formatting a table so the next thing is to add your form to the quick access so that you can easily access it so now we are now going to click on the form good now if you watch here this is one of it which is to say we are having eight numbers of persons in that company because we are trying to get the number of people in a company their position or their department then their names their number and the date so we are now going to see how we can work with the data entry here all right so this is the first one gabriel onka manager this is the date and this is the id number so let's say we want to create a new one which is for this new right here all you just have to do is to click on new then we are not going to give the first one a name let's say we are going to be giving this one and give it then the next we have martins then the next one the date all right so all right so now the id number we are going to be giving david martins the id number so let's say the id number is three four four five all right so this is it so when we are done with this all you just have to do now is to hit enter good so now if we should come here let me close this for instance if we should scroll down here now this is it here we just added this david martins this is the date and this is the id number so this is one easy way you can actually insert your data so maybe you're having about 200 staffs in a company so you can actually do it this way all right so let's go back there let's see some other tools we can do there click on it now if you watch this the next one which is the delete that is if you want to delete any of this person maybe the person had a leave or maybe the person no longer work in your company you can actually delete it by just clicking on the delete and it deletes all right now talking about the restore let's see how we can work with the restore let's say for example 
Gabriel Walker left the manager maybe he was the CEO of the company all right so now let's say you made maybe it's a mistake in the process you made it the position the CEO so all you just have to do right here now if you want to take it back to the manager which it was on then you just click on the restore and it goes back to the manager so that is for the restore so now this is for the find preview the find preview is for you to actually go back we are on Gabriel Wonka if you want to move to the next one or to the preview that is when you can click on this find preview so the next the find next is to go forward you see the next one courage over Femi this is it now if you come here this is it here after Gabriel Wonka the next one is courage over Femi all right so you can click find next find next and you can keep going then this is to find preview to go backwards then this is to go forward all right so that is how we can work with oh, most of this writing so lastly before we are done with the data entry in excel we are now going to see what this criteria means now the criteria actually helps if we want to find a person if we are looking for a particular person in excel i mean now let me use um, manager hit enter now this is it manager right here so let's say we don't want to insert um, um let's say sales hit enter now this is the sales david james so he's number four out of the ninth david james so if you also need to find any other person you can just click you can also search a person by your name or the date or the id number so this is how you can actually find a person in your excel using the data entry so last year is where we have the close so you all know what it's used for to so just close this now this is it so these are all we're going to be taking about the data entry so from today's class now we've now seen how we can actually work with the data entry first by formatting your table or having down some of the staffs in the company then you have the formatting of the table after that you go to your quick access and add a tool which is called the form to your quick access then after that you can now start working with the data entry all right so this is where we're going to stop for today so do not forget to hit the subscribe button and also continue to share this video so see you guys down next class and stay safe